Oh, hey there, two-stroke turbo fans. You may be wondering what I'm doing with a leaf blower directed at my blue Subaru 360 two-stroke van. I thought, you know what? It's time we had a two-stroke car on the channel. It's been way too long. I had this van sitting around. I've owned this van for, whoa, 1996, I think, so almost 30 years. Was a hippie van, had an American flag on the roof, shag carpets, and the windows have etched pot leaves. It was quite, quite the scene. Didn't have a motor nor transmission when I got it. But now I'm gonna drive it home. It's been sitting here in the corner of the shop with a tarp on it, collecting dust under the tarp. And Stella's like, let's go home, Dad. What are we doing? It's five o'clock. It's time to go home and have dinner. Stella wants her nuggets. So I think we're going to promote this car today. To the chagrin of all you YouTube followers and lovers of two strokes in United. You know, we're going to make this thing run and drive. But, oh, that makes me, that makes me wonder, will it start? Let's do a cold, it's not a cold day, but this thing hasn't run in a while. Let's make sure it's in neutral. Battery is not flat. Ooh, I might have a brake fluid leak. I gotta address that. I put a note there for myself. Uh, brake master cylinder, another note. So it, I gotta check that before we go. Let's see what happened. I'm gonna pull the choke. Turn the key all the way. It's cranking. There she goes. It's gonna smoke so bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a real smoker. It hasn't been on, the engine hasn't been turned on in months. It's starting to temper down now, but what happens is um, just oil collects in the crankcase and the muffler, and then when you go to fire it up, oh boy, it's really stinky. Let me turn the choke off. I think it'll run without the choke. It'll clear out here, I hope. Oh, let me rev it up. I gotta rev it. It's gonna try to die out on me. There won't be any mosquitoes for miles. Oh, jeez. It's really loaded up, but I think it'll clear out. I hope. Okay, so we got it started. Now I need to do some routine checks. I want to air up the tires and check the brake fluid. Oh yeah, she's clearing up nice. That's a good little van. Okay, so the whole reason that this little blue van is at my shop is to get fixed. Otherwise, it would be in my home collection. But it's not. It needs master cylinder work and a clutch. But I think we can manage that. I think. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, slow dog. There you go. Comfortable in there. Oh, look at you on your little perch back there. Okay, so we're gonna drive it, but I don't like going against my own advice. As a mechanic, I don't like going against my own <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> but I think we're gonna make an exception. For you YouTube followers, gonna break the rules okay so she's all warmed up I think we're not melting ice caps anymore or killing polar bears with the exhaust my little dog is in there and I'm gonna open the vent when I say open the vent I'm gonna pull this lever right here under the dash actually I'm gonna push it pushed it in and that opens the air conditioning Intake for blowing cool air on my knees. It's gonna be nice on a hot day like today. Gotta fix this door handle too. It's a little, a little wonky. So my passenger is content. I've got my blankets on the seat so I don't get my upholstery dirty with my greasy butt. And we're gonna give this thing a drive. The clutch is a little funky in this car. That's one of the reasons. Why, so it's, it's kind of grindy. I gotta careful with that. And the brakes actually feel pretty good, but I know there's a leak. And we got no fuel. Oh, jeez. It'll pop back. We're off. Oh. 
Got my tack working. Oh yeah, gas gauge is coming back now, so that's that's great. We're just gonna blow through the stop sign, I think. Good second here. There we go. It's gonna smoke like a banshee, I know it is. But you know what? It feels good. Oh, it feels good to drive this thing. Let's see, we'll put it over the top, see if the clutch holds. The clutch is slipped in a little bit, but that's okay. We're going 40 already. This thing is effortless torque for a 360. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the stuff. Two-stroke turbo for the win. yippee yippee ki -yay. This is a problem. Whenever there's a biker here, I got to pull this hill, and it pumps out a ton of exhaust. I feel really sorry for this guy. I put down first gear. Hopefully we'll get the light and we don't asphyxiate him. I feel really bad putting two-stroke oil all over his smiling teeth. That's going to suck for him. There's a big hill right here and it's, it's going to linger. It's going to linger. Oh well. Sorry buddy. I was afraid of that. Here we go. Poor guy's going to be pumping his pedals hard up this hill. Trying to get all the oxygen he can. And I'm taking it easy on the throttle because I don't want to asphyxiate him. So I'm just going nice and easy up this hill. There you go, guy. Otherwise, I would have totally smoked him out. And that just is not right. We're even going to short shift into overdrive. So we're at 2,000 RPMs going about 30. Oh, boy. I gotta be careful. So one thing nobody ever thinks about with two-stroke cars is exhaust. Down a third, it's gonna pass this guy gently as well, because there's nothing worse than getting passed by a smoking two-stroke car. Uh-oh, it's kind of a race for the roundabout. Okay, now I can pass. I'm always concerned about my feller, motorcyclist, bicyclist, or pedestrian. It's the way the world should be. All right, so we made it home. It's a little later. Stella's all excited. She thinks we're going to go for a walk and chase rabbits on the walk. Don't you think so? Come on. Let's go here. Come on. You're so excited. You're so excited. When she gives me the huff, that means that that's that, that means we're going rabbit chasing. Oh, there might be a rabbit right there. Oh, look. We drove the Subaru 360 van home. Let's see how much leaked brake fluid it didn't leak any. It's, it's been leaking a lot right from the... Maybe it fixed itself. I don't know. But this thing has been really reliable for the longest time, and now it needs some service. Let's turn the lights on. Let's see here. Ah, that's what it looks like at night. We've got our cab lights on the roof. We've got our running lights there, and then when we turn the ignition on, these lights light up. I don't have the keys, but I'm going to turn get those really quick. Okay, so I found the keys. Let's turn those on. Yeah, now those light up like they should. Ah, uh, I love this little thing. I got to drive it more. It's really great to have a two-stroke car back on the channel to make it a little more reliable that's just my life making all my cars reliable Stella no rabbits not right now okay let's go find some rabbits okay let's go come on this way 